Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna to be participating in a Make It New Challenge. And this challenge is hosted by Be Thrifty 2 and it's co-hosted by Kiki DIYs. And what we're supposed to do for this challenge is take something that's old or that we've had or something thrifted and flip it into something new or make it into something new. So I decided to use this pair of candlesticks that I had purchased at the beginning of this year. I really like these candlesticks. I got them from my local thrift store and I'm really liking these. These were $2, but they had a black dot on the tag of them. So at my thrift store, that means I get them for half off. So I paid a dollar a piece for them. And they were kind of this off-white color, and that's not really a color that I wanted to use with them. And I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. So I decided to go ahead and paint these gold. And they are so pretty once they are completely painted. And this is probably the fastest challenge I have ever done. This took very little time, but boy... Does this look fantastic once it's all set? Now, all I did was I went out in my garage and I just gave these a good spray painting. Now, I did it in the garage today because it is just pouring rain outside and I'm just going to give them a light coat of spray paint. And this is the Rust-Oleum spray paint, so it dries really quick. And so in no time at all, these were completely done. Now you can see here, I am painting from the top and I'm painting them down. Now you still have to be really careful not to overpaint because I'm gonna show you on the second one, I kind of overpaint and you'll see that it bubbles up, but that didn't turn out to be any big deal. And you can see here already, the gold compared to the off-white, the gold is just looking fantastic. It looks like it is a bronze or something, or not a bronze, but it is looking like it's brass. It is so pretty. Now here I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. And again, like I said, I'm using this Rust-Oleum and this is the American Accent two times paint. And this bonds to plastic or metal, and it is a super quick drying spray paint. And I am just using one of the paint sprayers on top of it. Just makes it so much easier to spray with than trying to press the button down. And then I'm going ahead and giving it a light coat, or I'm trying to, and you'll see in just a second here that I actually get too much paint on the very top rim and you'll see how it starts to bubble up, but this paint is so great to work with. Now you'll see here, right here, I am just going and hitting that top rim of this a little too much. And I still didn't stop. You can see here, I still kept spraying. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's always better to do light coats than to do a really heavy coat. And I tell everybody else that, and then once in a while I get in a hurry and I still do it too. Now look here at the top, I'm gonna zoom in, see how that's all funky across the top there where it's kind of bubbling up because I have so much paint on that. It's not a problem. I just grabbed a little rag and I'm wiping that part off and I'm gonna go ahead and repaint that part. And after repainting it again, it's gonna look just fine. You're not even gonna be able to tell. Now I do it once and it's still not looking great. I'm gonna wipe it one more time and we are gonna get this perfect. You can see it was still bubbled there. I just went and wiped it off a little bit better and then resprayed it. Now you can see it, it's nice and smooth. After about an hour, I flipped these upside down because of all the little detail work and the kind of scroll work type look on these candlesticks. I wanted the paint to make sure it got in on the underside of all that. 
So I flipped them upside down. I'm gonna give them one more light coat going this way. And then we are gonna take them inside and I'm gonna show you what these look like after another hour of dry, drying. And here they are. I just have them sitting on the table. Here I threw a little black cloth underneath them. This is a little black velvet. It's kind of wrinkled, but I thought it showed them off a little bit better. Look how beautiful these are looking. I am so much more happy with these. Painted this gold color. I will be able to use these for tablescapes and high-end looks. That, that kind of dingy off-white just wasn't doing it. It wasn't a pretty white like a French country white. It wasn't that color white. It was just kind of this dirty kind of looking white. This is so much better. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching.